Hey everyone, I'm um, just going to make a quick video on how to find a good home planet. I'm going to visit three of them. I'm going to visit a flourishing planet, a rainy planet, and a paradise planet. So the main goal behind it is to just keep warping from solar system to solar system. And either you can look for it that way, or if you've already visited a bunch of different solar systems and you didn't really scan through the planets, you can go back and look on your old solar systems that you found because you can find a lot of good planets that way. So the first one I'm going to go to is a flourishing planet. So once you're flying into a new solar system, the first thing you're going to want to do is scan each planet. So you're going to have planets that are nuclear, barren. You're going to look for something at least a little promising in the description and you're also trying to avoid planets with high sentinel activity. So my planet in particular, I found it by scanning and it said flourishing and it has no description of sentinels at all. So when we fly in, we'll take a look at the weather conditions when we land. And even if you find a paradise planet, there is a small chance that you'll get storms, but the general weather shouldn't affect your hazard protection. So it says sweltering damp. Sentinels are sparse, floors generous, fauna, I missed that. Fauna is occasional. So pretty good life. The occasional storm does pop up on this planet, but for the most part, it is a really good base planet. That's where I built my first base, and there's definitely plenty out there that you can find just by jumping to different solar systems and scanning the planets. The second planet we're going to visit is actually going to be a paradise planet, and it's one that I found randomly by jumping through one of the black holes. So again, when we're going out into the solar system, we're going to scan each planet and see what comes up. This one already looks icy. It's an arctic planet. So you're gonna have pretty extreme weather conditions there. Now, I know that there's a paradise planet in this system, which is why you just have to look around and scan. And there it is, the paradise planet. And it has starbolt, copper, paraffinium, and cobalt, and there's no sentinels in the description. So another thing you don't want to do is judge it just by the looks of it. You want to make sure you scan because there's some that look like they might not be the best and then they can have some of the best weather, some of the best resources. You never know until you scan into it. We're just going to jump into the sunnier side of the planet to give a little bit of a better view. and see another planet that says it's a paradise planet but it has a rainstorm which is fine it's okay because your general weather conditions are going to be okay you're just going to have the occasional storm now the third planet i'm going to take you to doesn't have any storms whatsoever and it's ironic because it's the last planet that you would expect it's a rainy planet so this is the paradise planet pretty cool looking all purple. So now we're going to go to the third planet. So the last one we're going to take you to is a rainy planet. It's not this noxious planet but it's hidden behind it which is another reason why you want to completely search each solar system and scan every planet because there's a lot of hidden planets that you can overlook pretty easily. And there it is. It says it's a rainy planet, it even has ancient bones which are worth a lot, so if you want to make a lot of money this is a good planet for it too. So again we're going to land on the sunny side to get a little bit of a better view of what this planet's like, and you're going to have to land and get out of your ship to get the weather conditions. So that's what we're going to do to check out this planet. Oh, and it's so cool. All right. Hi. 
I won't give any spoilers, but this planet is in another galaxy. You'll get around to that later in the game. See, the weather is mellow, Sentinel's limited, flora is full, and fauna is copious. So, plenty of life on this planet. And for it being a rainy planet, the weather is extremely hospitable. So, again, just warp to different systems. Make sure you scan every planet. If you're interested in one, land on it. And good luck. <laughs>